on this guy here, I'm actually going to give this guy a freaking 9.5 for first taste, 9.5 for aftertaste, and a 9.5 for balance because you're knocking this thing out of the park. Sammy Sosa, without the steroids, grand slam home run, you know what I mean? They're doing a really good job with this. Oof. Oof. Hi, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of What the Fizz, which is sparkling reviews for fools. Yeah. On today's episode, uh, actually what we have here are three different waters, including two brand new ones that you might not know about that we're going to be reviewing, as well as the third one being a brand new brand that we, I don't think, have fe featured yet on here. The reason being... Uh, this is pretty much the season finale of the first round of me doing all the water reviews. Uh, I just feel it's like 21, 22, I think we're at 22 episodes. Uh, 22 episodes is probably good enough, sufficient enough for this round of it. I'm just going to dip my toes into something else and see uh, what brings, and just see uh, what uh, gets me going uh, further from there. Uh, then we'll be getting more into the more extravagant, more in-depth uh, carbonated water drinks. You know, maybe not so much of the the bubbly. The you know we we got we we got through all like pretty much the Lacroix, the bubblies, the Montelliers, the Perriers, the San Pellegrinos, right? We might go into some of the more caloric, thirty to sixty calorie carbonated water drinks, as well as like the more unknown brands, uh, such as the. Fruit 2 well, which is actually one of the ones that we have here. And then, lo and behold, the two brand new bubblies just in time for the video. We got the bubbly pineapple, yo, awesome, right? And we have the peach bubbly. It's freaking fantastic. I'm really, really excited to, to try these guys out here and go along for the ride. So, without further ado, we're going to kick this off, guy. Oh, with the Fruit 2 O, Fruit 2 O, Raspberry Lemon. So raspberry lemon here, giving off some good vibes here. These guys, 502 milliliters, as opposed to the sparkly ice, which is 503. So weird, right? Just really freaking strange, but uh, that's the way they're gonna play it. That's the way we're gonna play it back. So we're gonna give this the first taste. Ooh, nice little pop we got there going. Mmm. Way better balance than what the sparkling ice was offering with that uh, cherry medicine limeade <laughs> that they had there. But, uh, wow, gotta give them credit for that. That's actually fantastic. First taste on that bad boy. You know what it is? Oh, fuck. Oh, spill everywhere. It's literally like cotton candy. Like when you're at K-Days or whatever, or you're at a festival and you're leaving or whatever, you know, as a kid. I want the bottom, I want the toy, I want the souvenirs and everything. You know, my parents used to always like make sure to get me uh, one souvenir and a huge bag of cotton candy of my choice, right? And uh, it was really fantastic on the way out, you know, around 11.30 midnight, just going home and you got all that sugar in your belly, you know? You're just going to pass out with all of it. Anyway, so good. Uh, cotton candy, cotton candy. So initial vibes on this guy for the first taste, aftertaste, it flows really smooth. Mid-range carbonation, even... Uh, I'd say mid-range, pretty good mid-range. Mid-range carbonation on that. I'm gonna give that a, a 9.1 for the first taste, 9.1 for the aftertaste. Fantastic job, but they got lining that up. Really good. Balance and flow, balances really smoothly. Can't complain whatsoever. Uh, we're gonna give that bad boy an, also a 9.1. Um, they're just, they know what they're doing. Fruit 2 where do we find them? Um, I found them I found this at Walmart. I have no idea where else you could find this. I'm just Walmart and Superstore, I think, are the only ones that I can uh, kind, of, kind of think of that might have that for sure. But leading on from that, uh, going into the smoothness factor of it, it's not too overwhelming and it's not too underwhelming. It almost sits like right in the middle, uh, right at the bridge to the gap, you know. Look at that, eh. Look at that, eh. Tap daddy. Tap daddy. Oh yeah, we're going to drink this all up all day. You know, this is definitely a buyback on this guy. And I would say that the smoothest factor on this would definitely be sitting at around a, a 9.2. Leading us to the flavor, to the flavor, right? Raspberry and the lemon, yeah, you know what? It's 
it, it might not sound like it because they're just two common flavors, but those ones specifically meshed, smashed together, swoosh, like together, like like that. It uh, you don't typically see that very often, and so we got to give them kudos and credit credit for that where credit is due for the flavor and everything like that. I'm gonna give that a 9.2 as well, just because I just. I find that it tastes really good and they smash them together perfectly it's not too too much too over the top and it's just enough texture like enough of that tinge of that zinginess to actually uh, carry you through with that flavor so you're gonna buy it back again and this is you'd probably be pretty satisfied with it so uh that being said we got 9.1s and 9.2s all over the table uh i guess that would leave the overall value at let's say a flat 9.1 9.1 i sounds quite adequate so I very much enjoy the Fruit 2 O's, Sparkling Fruit 2 O, and uh, yeah, I look forward to trying more of these in the future, and it, uh, it's going to be a good venture, that's for sure. So, on to the next. What do we got over here? Okay, the first new one that I grabbed, that's one we're going to do in the order here. The Peach Bubble, Bubble. The Peach Bubble, Michael Bubble, right here, Peach Bubble. Again, Bubblies. This goes for both of them. Bubblies usually sit at the, uh, on a pack of uh, about uh, $6.99 regular price. And then the sale price ranges anywhere from $4.99 to $6.49. You know, the 50 cents off, bro. It's like, yeah, well, it's usually the $4.99 or $5.49 price, which is awesome. Because you get 12 cans of 355 mils. And I've said this before, uh, along with the Montelliers with like the single bottles for a dollar at a liter, uh, this guy here, honestly, <laughs> 12 pack of cans, 355 mils, just like any other pop you're gonna buy, and it's just sitting there at a fine price point of $4.99 on sale. So that's definitely one of the best bangs for buck out there. Uh, I don't care who you ask. So, looking into the peach bubbly. We're gonna give this guy a go with the first taste. Oh yeah, look at the Hank Moody shirt over here. You know, I love it, love it. One of my favorite, actually my favorite, pretty much my favorite uh, rated R comedy show that you can watch on Showtime. Morning of Awkwardness is far better than an evening of loneliness. Hank Moody. I love Hank Moody. That's uh, a fantastic show. For all you people above the age of 16 or 18 or whatever the hell it is, yeah, it's freaking fantastic. I love when they, ah, can't stand censorship, even though in this series I pretty much censor myself a little bit. But, hey! Okay, we're gonna go on here with the first taste. Mmm. Not too, too much going on. Flows nicely, so it flows very even. Um, resonates really well. It keeps that flavor for a little bit longer than you would expect. Oh, it just does a fantastic job with that. Like, Again, another example of less is more. The peach isn't like too, too in your face like it is with the AHA. And don't get me wrong, the AHAs were fantastic with that. But in their own right, they're fantastic with like having a little bit more subtle that way. So mid to upper end, um, upper range for that carbonation. So they do a fantastic job with that. But uh, I would say the first taste, first taste on this one, maybe not as high as the Perrier. I would say the first taste on this one is probably about a, let's say about a 9.0. Uh, with the aftertaste, lingers on, pretty good. Pretty good. I would say it's pretty much on par, right? It doesn't really dip off or anything or spike too high or it's not lopsided in any way since so it's about a 9.0. And that's uh, about the same for the balance. I find that everything comes around and balances with the flavor. There's nothing too out of the ordinary or overwhelming that's happening here. Uh, balance will probably be able to 9.0 as well. <coughs> smoothness. Now, in terms of the smoothness factor on this guy here, um, you got that ride and die. You got it flowing good, man. The smoothness, yeah, very, very smooth. And again, I like that little extra carbonation. It's really good. It hits home really well. Smoothness, I would have to say, uh, this is going to be a solid, uh, this is going to be a solid uh, 9.1 on the smoothness, right? They just know how to balance it perfectly. Like, Bubbly is, like, working this like a magical wand. Like, they're artistic as hell on this guy here. So, they're doing a fantastic job with that. Flavor, in terms of the flavor, yep, yeah, sometimes less is more with that guy here. We're going to set the flavor around 8.9, and which leads the overall value to accumulating to the fantastic value of 9.0, flat rating. So, rock and roll, baby. Uh, moving along here to the third option that we have here, the new brand new product here, the Pineapple Bubbly. This one's like brand spanking new, like, honestly, like, I saw it for the first time like less than a week ago pretty sure so it's a good way to end off good way to tail off this uh 
this season leading into another good one uh, in the near future but I'm gonna give you a good cheers to all you guys on this last one here for that first taste <sighs> cheers baby all right come up here it's like a PewDiePie with his bro fist but I'm doing with cheers for water I'm spilling on purpose, baby. Mmm, for you guys. Mmm, I tell you, that first taste, alarmingly good. You know, have you ever had the uh, crush, like the pineapple? You know how you got the, the cream soda and the grape and orange and everything like that? Um, the pineapple crush is just very sugary. It's got like this kind of like a uh, very, very good taste to it. Whereas this almost tastes like you're drinking water out of an actual pineapple with you know obviously with like a bunch of sugar in it stuff so, you know what I mean like how they would have on like a vacation and stuff with the coconuts you know but with a pineapple mm. man it's very bunchy it holds on for a long time that aftertaste just like resonates just as well as the first taste does and it just stays in your mouth for quite some time like very very tropical very good you know they do a fantastic job with it Honestly, can't complain. Uh, I actually very quite quite so the opposite on this guy here. I'm actually gonna give this guy a freaking 9.5 for first taste, 9.5 for aftertaste, and a 9.5 for balance because they're knocking this thing out of the park. Sammy Sosa without the steroids, grand slam home run. You know what I mean? They're doing a really good job with this. Oof, oof. The flavor on this is like a Shea Weber slap shot to the face. Eh, no. Maybe not quite. So on this guy, I would have to say when it comes to the smoothness, how smooth is it when it's going down? Is it uh, got that rock and rhyme, rock and roll feeling? Um, yeah, I would say so. I would say the smoothness on this guy is going to be uh, a 9.6, man, because it just holds the fort for a long period of time. Very impressive for this to have like zero sugar, zero calories, you know. Uh, they've done themselves very, very well with this. Uh, you know, and you can't compare, of course, to the Orange Crush, which is going to, or, sorry, you can't compare again with the Pineapple Crush because that's going to have, like, you know, full of, like, 230 calories or whatever in a can. And it's a little bit different flavor, but, like, if you want something that's, like, your typical pineapple or what you're going to enjoy, this is definitely it. So, yeah, smoothness on this guy is a 9.6. In terms of flavor going all out on that, uh, again, 9.6 here. I'm uh, going to leave the overall value here at about a 9.5, but they've, they've done themselves in pretty good here with this one. Uh, very impressed with the way that they, they went about this. They even kind of changed it up here on the design a little bit. Like if you notice, they do a pretty good job. Let's see if I can balance for two of my head. Anyhow, they, they do such a fantastic job with this. Pineapple is a no-brainer. It's a buyback for sure, just like the peach. Keep it up, bubbly. You guys are kicking some ass. And uh, and I think I hauled ass pretty good on this season as well, too. I think we got through like 45 different waters, 22 different episodes. And uh, I look so much forward to seeing you guys in the next video and everything like that, too. And I just want to take this time before the final fusion to say how much I appreciate everybody. Danielle, if you're watching, I love you. Love you so much. Uh, it's my girlfriend. Uh, you'll probably see seeing her in some uh, upcoming videos as well, too. And I really appreciate all my friends, all my family, everyone who's ever supported me and doing this uh, YouTube journey since uh, November 9th when I started going. And I don't plan on stopping anytime soon or at all, actually. I want to kind of keep going and make this my career. I want to make this... Uh, something where you know I don't have to work for anybody full-time at least right like at least take it uh, turn this into some sort of part-time win and with some income and everything like that and just to see how many corners I can turn and how much better of course I can improve with my content and and uh, how uh, where where things are going I'm really excited for the future of the greater unknown to see where things are going so thank you guys sincerely for that leave a like drop that subscribe boom, 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 boom. share if you feel like sharing, drop a comment below. Let me know how you guys like this, some criticisms or uh, some enjoyments from all of this series of videos. Yeah, just spread the love. No negativity. Like, we don't want anything like that. Like, just want to be constructive about it. 
But uh, thank you guys, and I appreciate uh, all that you guys have to offer and for always showing up here. What we got here, and then this off here with the final fusion, where I take a dab of the Bet Tabascus Maximus Tabasco hot sauce on the tongue, and then I mix. Now, in this video, in the finale of season one, with the three. Um, then I make a funny face and I look stupid, <laughs> or you're not even tuning in at this point, and it doesn't even matter. <laughs> We'll see. Final fusion. Cheers, baby. Overload, overload, error, error. Ah, oh, jeez. So weird. It's like almost confusing. My body's confused. My body's just like my mind. Oh, so much going on there. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think I've just outworn this uh, final fusion part of the the show, and it's just one of those things where I'm just having it and. Maybe I just get so used to it, you know, I've already been used to the hot sauce, now I'm used to the hot sauce with the sparkling waters, you know what I mean? Love it. I don't know. Maybe get a stomach healer. But I'm good now. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching this and all that. And Yeah, I can't express it enough. I love a half. Share. But yeah, all these new flavors always expanding and coming out. Um, there's going to be a lot more we're going to look into as well. Maybe some more local stuff. Obviously, some flavors that are like juices that aren't zero calories, a little bit higher than the than that. You know, I know San Pellegrino has a lot to offer when it comes to the the actual calorie uh, sparkling waters, and uh, uh, then there's of course the waters that are flavored like Nestle and everything like that that isn't sparkling water, but we ain't gonna count those now. <laughs> but uh, <coughs> yeah, we're gonna play that all out and uh, see how things go, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed what I had give to you and to offer throughout this season and uh want to take this even further next time and i look forward to seeing you in all the future videos uh you guys rock man you guys help me put that ad to the hd if you know what i mean so yeah my adhd is in full charge right now and uh i just want you guys to uh to have all the love love you all thank you for watching and i hope you guys stay real and I will stay caveman. See you guys soon.